Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter, and today we're going to be doing this cake topper. <laughs> if you haven't seen it done before, because I've done it, I know, I've done done a reel, and I've also gone uh, live on Pin TV. But it's such a fun, um, it's such a fun cake topper using acetate in a couple different ways. So I thought it was worthy to go on again. So, and I haven't connected with everybody. I feel like all my followers are so... Um, are different on the different on the different channels, the different platforms. So I feel like I haven't been on here for a while. Um, can you guys just let me know? Can you post in the comments? Can you hear me? Because I know I have it on. Hi, magical crafty mama. Can you hear me? Because I'm. I usually only go live on my laptop, and I added my camera, uh, my phone, so that you can see my desktop. So I just want to make sure. Okay, good. Okay, all right. So if you ha have missed the news, um, a couple of different things have been going on this month that I've started. One, I'm doing a, um, I have committed to doing at least once a month, a free design space project. And I know some of you guys are Cricut users or Silhouette users. Um, I'm hoping I, okay, this is, this is my ideal thing. Okay. If, somebody on here if you're watching and you are very good at silhouette and you want to team up with me i would love to show you what i do in design space i would love an equivalent in silhouette not necessarily identical because i don't want you to use the same images but the concept should be the same and we should find equivalents uh within silhouette so let me know if there's somebody out there that wants to work with me in that capacity i would love to um I don't know, like maybe you can even teach me. <laughs> I have the business edition so I could save the SVG files. I just don't know what I'm doing and it's taking me too long. So, all right. Anyway, so I've committed to doing one project a month um, in design space. So it will be a file that's ready to cut and it will also list out um, all the card stocks that I use. And I think that's kind of like, it's different because when you're first doing it, or even when, like, if someone were to tell me, uh, I don't know, like a um, crafty decor, <laughs> Janet, if she were to give me, like, all of her, um, oh, Yesenia, oh, Ariciosa, yes, I know her because I am a huge fan. <laughs> I don't know if she has time for little old me, though, to do the files. But um, sorry, if someone like Janet or an Ema were to say like, hey, these are all the colors that I use, I would love it. So hopefully I am helping out others with at least the colors that I use. I would love it when I see other people, if I know exactly and like I like the color combinations, like I really appreciate that. So all right, we are going to be doing this one. It's going to be a lot of fun. All right. The first thing though is, have you guys used this before? Glitterific. I'm trying to remember how I was even first introduced to this one. Um, so I've had it for a while and I don't think I sealed it properly. So it's a little bit on the dry side, but what I love about it, and I'm gonna see if I can get a really good close up of it. It's, I used it on this purple egg and it's kind of hard to see. Let me see if this camera is better. Oh, I think you can see it better here. So in that purple, it's got a more acrylic look. And I did it on here too. So let me hold this one and see if this is better. Like you can kind of see, like it just feels thicker, even though all it is, is it's just acetate. But like we put a layer of that glitterific on there and it's really, really pretty in person. Let me see if that does that. Oh yeah, you can kind of see it. It just gives it a whole different look. So this is how you're going to do it. Um, I have a few, so let's see. And then were you guys surprised that what, that I picked this purple egg because it had all those pieces in the middle, but then I just left them out. <laughs> I didn't want to uh, transfer each one of those items because it would, it would take so long to do that. I didn't even, I don't even think I saved it. So I can't even attempt it. I just threw it out. So, all right. So this acetate, I am going to need to peel off the protective covering. So hopefully, okay, there it is. I can see it. 
Okay, so all you're gonna do is, I have a toothpick that I'm going to use. So I'm gonna show you how beautiful this is. So I'm gonna take my toothpick and like I said, mine is on the older side. So it's a little bit of a thicker consistency than I think it was when I first got it, but you kind of just spread it on. So you can, um, and we know that from the design that the, oh, sorry, I wanna make sure you can see it that the edges will cover it. So I sort of want to spread it out, Ooh, make it look really pretty in the middle and then not be so worried about how it looks on the side. Oh, I just did it on the, I flipped on the wrong side. <laughs> so, okay. So I'm going to pull out, let me dig for a little bit more and my toothpick is a little bit on the short side, but okay. And you can see it mine is a little bit on the goopier side. I think if you have a newer one, um, it will glide more easily, but it's still really, really easy to use. It's like, I, I mean, it's acrylic. It's just, it's thicker and it's got this gloss to it. And it has, um, like little thin sheets of, I don't know what it is like foil, foil confetti. It's really, really pretty. And it's one of my favorite things right now. I'm going to try to use more. Actually, I'm going to buy a new bottle. That's what I need to do first. But anyway, so with this on, it's actually really sticky. It feels like um, tacky glue. And so you can see it's it's pretty, right? I love it. It's so, so stinking pretty. And when you put it on like this, I'm telling you, it no longer feels like a cardstock project. So you can get a feel for how that looks. I actually, this is my favorite. Well, I mean, we can't get away from doing a shaker shaker, right? Like with the sprinkles in this case, the middle piece. So I like that. What I, my least favorite on here was the faux shaker. So let's put this one down. And with the faux shaker, basically what you're doing, and it's this blue egg right here. Um, so the blue egg basically is two layers of acetate. And so you're, um, you're putting like flat confetti in there, basically just a few pieces. Um, so it looks like you, it, it can move around because it is flat. Um, and so you glue the edges of the acetate. And so you're trapping, basically you're trapping the confetti on the inside. And yeah, I mean, it's okay when you need it, but personally, I think I would have, I would rather do this. So I'm going to show you. So on that one, what you would do is let's take your two. So you you have two sheets of acetate. And so you're going to put the other thing is if you were to do a faux shaker, my recommendation is to do something bigger. Um, this is on the smaller side. So you have just a small area to really put your glue, knowing that the acetate um it doesn't absorb the glue well. So your glue is going to kind of like spread out. So what you end up doing is you, you, you end up leaving very little room to put your confetti. So it's just not my favorite. So this is how you would do it. You would take these two and let me peel off the protective covering. And I cut, actually I cut a lot of extras because I think what I would rather do is, uh, let me see if I can get this other, oh, just put my fingernails. Um, oh, that's a lot easier. Okay. So what you want to do is, and look how pretty this is. Do you guys know Sharice from Party Trail Crafts? She got this for me. She sent it to me. I love this little box, but I'm going to grab just a few and I'm going to take, I'm going to do maybe the stars or the, I'll do the hearts right here. And I'm just going to put a few in here. So I'm going to grab a few and you want to make sure that they're flat because your acetate is, it's just two layers of acetate being held together by glue. So, oh my gosh, some of these are kind of thick, so I don't want to grab the thick ones. All right. I'm just going to do that because I'm not, like I said, this is my least favorite and you can't even see it on the screen. So just imagine, because I did put some there. Then what you want to do is you want to grab your glue and now I know that my egg, the blue on top covers the, 
the edges of this. So we're not going to see this glue right here. And you're just going to put this on top. And then you want it to, you want to make sure that your glue, I mean, that it does uh, line the whole edge, right? So it does that. You can see it. You can see my glue, right? And then the inside is the confetti, the sprinkles. Um, you're going to want that to dry. And then all you're going to do is you're going to put your your egg on top. Now, if I were to read, I mean, it's not a, I'm, you know, it's not a flawed design. It's not my favorite, right? But um, I wanted to show you all the different ways. But if I had a fourth egg, I would either do another one of um, of the acrylic ones. I mean, look, even there, you can see how pretty that is. Um, or what I would do is I would do this. I would glue this on. And I have another question for you guys. How did everything cut for you guys? Can you please show the acetate that I'm using? Um, I can if I still have. You know, I, I, um, I buy it from Amazon. So it's in my Amazon shop. I don't have the cover on it anymore. So I basically took it out of the package and it's in one of my slots over here. Um, but if you go to my Amazon sh shop, you can see it. So it's, um, let me see, I'll post it right here. Oops. Okay. So, um, I have four pinned categories where I feel like you really can find what you're looking for. But okay, so what I would do instead is on this one, I would probably just glue down on top like each single one that I want to do. Like if I want a little heart right here, I'm going to grab this one and I would just manually place it. I don't know if the I don't know if I want to cut the two layers and then try to squeeze it in. I feel like it's just as easy to put a little bit of glue back here, put it down, and then let it dry on top. And then that way you can actually see it better because once it's in this design and, you know, your little glitter piece could be hidden. So that's what I would do going if I were to go back. I mean, really, I was trying to show you the different ways to use acetate. <laughs> That's going to be my excuse. But I mean, look at this one, right? This is worth it. These are so pretty. Okay, let's get to the to the cake topper. So um, I'm looking at your comments. Let me see. Um, okay. I used gold mylar. So let me know if you guys bought it. I mean, so one of the things that I wanted to... Um, on my next project too. And just kind of going forward is I try to be really mindful of the paper that I'm using so that I can show you guys what you, why I like certain things. And when we're done with this cake topper, I'm gonna show you the project that I'm doing for Happily Ever After, that hot air balloon one with the, the nursery, um, the nursery sign. I absolutely love it. And I wanna, the reason why I love it so, so much too, is just the papers that I'm using. So um, I, on this one in particular, I'm using gold mylar. And here's one of the reasons why I like it. Okay, so I'm gonna stop talking and I'm just gonna flip this thing so that you can hear it. So see, it's like, it's mylar. So it's really durable. So you can cut um, more delicate items on here and you wouldn't worry about ripping it when you're taking off the mat or just even when it's cutting. So this is like, I mean, like, and it's super shiny. So it's really, really pretty. And I just love that it's so durable. So that's that. All right. So let's glue these things down. Um, all right. I'm going to flip this over. When something is this thin for, and I need to glue it, I know that I don't need to have this whole thing covered in glue. It's thin enough that it's not going to be, it's not going to be so heavy that it's going to fall off the cardstock. So you just want to make sure that you dab it in enough areas for it to stick. And the other thing is I'm gluing this onto white 
So it's not that you're not going to be able to really see the glue at all. Um, Barely Art Glue does dry clear, but, you know, depending on the colors, like sometimes the browns, you can see it a little bit. So, um, but this is going on white, so you're not going to be able to see it. It should be fine, but I'm just dabbing in some parts. Okay. And then I, did you guys notice the, um, the, this little tool that I'm using? I used to not like it, but now that I understand it, I love it. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I get it. it in the resting area you know, in its resting phase, that is, it's closed. So I don't have to hold on to it. I love it. So that is my new favorite tool. All right. So the same thing that happened every time I do this, I forget to dab a little bit of glue here. So you can kind of see this little loop comes up. What I love about Barely Art Glue is I can get behind that a little bit and just put a couple of drops and that's going to be enough. And when I press down this time and hold it while it's drying for just a couple of seconds, it's totally flat. So hi, Sarah. Oh, right, magical crafty mama. You're so funny. It took me a while to get used to those tweezers. Same, same. I was so resistant and now I do, I do love it. I still like my other tweezers, but I'm, I'm getting it. I'm, I'm getting there and I'm getting it. <laughs> All right. So here is my happy and all right so we're gonna put this down all right and i just love it because i like with it just being on my hands the h is being held so i know i i'm i'm such a late bloomer sometimes um now when you're gluing with uh really thin parts like this uh what i like to have is a scratch piece of paper nearby and I'll just dab it to get the excess off. And then there's still enough glue on here. And it's just perfect to glue down. And um, that's going to be more important when we're gluing onto the gold. Because the gold mylar, again, just like the um, acetate, it doesn't absorb the glue well. So, well, it doesn't absorb the glue. <laughs> not that it doesn't absorb well. No, not at all. So um, it will spread. And so you just want to make sure that you have just enough glue and really no more than that. Although, you know, um, I haven't quite figured out what is my favorite way, like, to hold this thing, like when I'm applying the letters or putting the letters down, like I haven't, I just haven't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, uh, but just enough to use it. That's it. Okay. And I guess it depends on the project, right? So maybe that's what it is. Where, I, what I'm applying it to, the, the shape of it. Okay, so here we go. Sarah, I swear I love the Mylar art idea. Without you, I don't know what I would have done. Ah, <laughs> yeah, I love it. I've bought so much that I have, um, I have a lot of it. So I do like the Mylar, but I will say that, I mean, I love the Mylar because it is shiny and it is so thick, but um, I like foil more. I just love the look of the foil more. So, but it just gives you options, right? Like sometimes when you know if something's delicate, that's what I go to. Like I'll go look for my Mylar. Um, it can just on the mat, like I've never had it rip on me. It's just, it's just good. It's good to have in your toolbox. And then, um, uh, you know, the other thing is if you guys, are ever shopping on 12 by 12 cardstock shop on their website and you see something that you're not sure you want to get, but you, you know, but you're interested, send that over to me because I will get it and I will try it out and we can, um, and I'll give you the scoop. <laughs> okay. So for this happy Easter, there were lots of thin parts on the pink. So whenever I have a lot of thin areas. I don't like to uh, use my foam tape because it's just it's just too high maintenance. So I knew I was going to glue this flat, but on this one there is space. So I'm going to you know foam it up with my barely art foamies cubies. 
Yeah, Sarah, seriously, I I am totally um, serious about it. I If you see something that you want to try and you're not ready to commit and buy it, send it over to me. I will, I will give it a, a try. All right. So this is a little bit thick. I'm going to use my, give me a second to grab it. Here we go. I love these strips because they're so much thinner. So you can see, look how, uh, that's my cube, right? It's pretty thick. And then look at this, the strips. So the strips I can, you know, get in there much easy, much more easily. So I'm going to do that. Um, cause I don't want it to show. And I'm going to do it in just a few spots where I know it's going to make the happy Easter stable. And then we can get going. So, um, do you guys have any plans soon? I am headed to Ohio soon. <laughs> I'm super excited. I'm going to be there working the artist spree booth. So, you know, artist three with the sublimation. Um, I will be there with Ivy from Ivy Pink Made, and we're going to be working at NAMTA. So, super excited. If any of you guys are out in Columbus, Ohio, I don't know, let me know in comments right now. <laughs> if you're out that way, I would love to um, see you. So, let me know. Come by NAMTA. If you can't come by NAMTA, um, I don't know. I don't know where we're going to be to eat and stuff, but I'll definitely be posting in stories and stuff. So, all right. I feel like that's good enough. And with, I know I've talked about this so much, but it's such a good reminder. So with all kind of like adhesives like this, where it's sticky, um, it's basically a pressure adhesive. So one of the components of making sure that it, it that it's really working is pressure. So you need to press it down really well and to make sure that it adheres to the top and the bottom of whatever you're putting it on. So in this case, I really want to make sure that it's sticking to the back of, you know, the white cardstock. And then when I put it down onto the gold, um, I'm going to press it down again. And sometimes it's not always possible, but when it is, you want to make sure that you um, give it some pressure. All right, so I got it, and then I'm going to put it on here. And then I'm going to press it down. Oops, got a little piece of Those little tabbies are like, oh, and it got stuck back underneath my thing. Okay, hold on. I'm going to get it out. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it drive me crazy. Oh, there we go. Got it out. Um, so pretty, right? And I love, I love that shine. You can really see it. Okay, so on the back of this, of course, we're going to foam it up as well. Um, hi, Donna. Where do you get the strips? These are from Barely Art Glue. So this is what it looks like. It comes in a pack and you get four. You get four sheets. You get two sheets in the squares, one eighth of an inch and a quarter of an inch. And the quarter of an inch, it's so funny. I say this every single time. But the quarter of an inch, it is so high. Like I know what a quarter of an inch is. But to see it in a foamy, in, in, in the foamy equivalent, it's really high. I love it. So um, in, this, in the cubes, in the squares, you get a, an eighth of an inch and a quarter of an inch. And then you get the same thing in the strips. So I definitely, oh, Sarah, best ever strips. I, seriously, it is so good. It's so sticky. Um, if you were using uh, foamies or, you know, yeah, foamies from Dollar Tree, then you'll know that these are so superior. Um, and I I really love the quarter of an inch. It's like super thick. <laughs> I, I, feel, I feel so dumb when I say it because it's like, oh my gosh, like it's so thick. No, it's exactly a quarter of an inch, but there's something about, you know, I think we're so used to using the 
not as thick ones. And so this just feels incredibly high. I, I don't know how else to describe it. it but I, I feel dumb every time I say it um, because it's like, you know, it's that one like joke where it's like, oh, what's heavier, a pound of concrete or a pound of feathers? Like they're both a pound, right? <laughs> so that's what it feels like with this. But okay, so I'm going to press down on this a little bit. Okay. All right. So we can put that aside and let's get out our shaker part, my favorite part. Okay. So here are the two pieces. You want to make sure that you know, because they can be, uh, let's see, what am I doing wrong here? Here we go. <laughs> I've got it all flipped around. Now I want to make sure that I have them both lined up so that when I go to put this together, they're not messed up. Okay. So I've got that down. Is this the right way up? It looks like it's the right way up. Okay. So this is the right way up. I'm going to move this aside. And on this one, I'm gonna peel off the protective uh, sheet. And then I'm gonna get out my quarter of an inch foam strips. So uh, do the foamies come in other colors? Sandra, not at the moment. At the moment, all you can get is this actual packet the packet of four. And I will say like, at first I was like, Meh, like, am I really going to use all of them? But I've really gotten used to having all four and using all four. And actually, you know what, this is a good way to show you. So here's my quarter of an inch, right? You can see how much I've used on that one. This is my eighth of an inch strips. This is my quarter of an inch strips. <laughs> and what am I missing? Oh, these. So you can see, I do use all of them. There, there's like a purpose for each one of them. <laughs> so I do, I love it. Okay, so now with this one, the way I know that this is, we know that the gold is gonna cover up our foam strips. And there's still gonna be some areas where you're gonna see the white. And with that, you know, it's kind of like why, if you're wondering why this looks the way it does instead of in design space, um, I moved it around when I saw where the white was showing and it was kind of annoying me. So I moved the eggs, I kind of like shifted this around. So we always have that option um, to, you know, kind of play with the design also and play with where the eggs go, where the happy Easter goes even, and how far up you want your stick. Okay, so I'm going to move this over. So we're going to basically... Um, the way I start it is right kind of like where, oh, it's kind of hard to see, but not where the flowers or where the leaves are, but where the circle is. Because for the circle, I know if I go all the way to the edge, that's where it's supposed to be. So I'm going to line this up now and I'm going to just start going all the way around and sticking as close as I can to the edge. And I'll even pull this up. I wonder if you can see it better if I do it like this. But um, I've done shakers for a long time and I've done it in all sorts of ways. I've done it where I've had my Cricut maker cut it out using foam sheets. Um, and I like that method. Um, what I don't like about that method is if you were trying to get like a thin cut, um, it's hard for the foam to maintain its shape. So, um, I, and part of that is I should probably get um, like thicker foam. Hi, Seanette, where have you been? Okay, which size for the next step? One fourth or one eighth? Um, for the shaker, I'm using one fourth. But this is totally up to, up to you because if your sprinkles are not that thick, I'm using some of my sprinkles are these like thick balls. <laughs> They're kind of thick, so I actually needed the full one fourth of an uh, one fourth of an inch. Okay, so I'm gonna go around, and then I'm gonna just to connect these. What I end up doing is, and I do have my glue gun turned on already. Okay, my hot glue gun. Um, depending on what kind of sprinkles you use or what kind of confetti you use, um, you may want to. Um, put a little bit of glue where you connect your foam strips. 
Um, on the thicker ones, you don't need it at all. Nothing's going to escape. Um, I will say though, like since like, you know, since I've been doing shakers uh, for quite some time now, I do like to avoid putting sprink, um, no, not sprinkles, glitter into my topper because heaven forbid sprinkles like the glitter falls out. I'm not, I'm not a fan of that. So I'm going to show you right here. So because this is on acetate and it's connected, right? Like you can see, like it's pretty connected. It's right there, but I can kind of open this up a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just open it up right now while I can, and I'm going to keep it apart. And I'm just going to put, I'm going to dab a little bit of my hot glue right in between. And then I'm going to close it back up and just hold it while it's drying so that nothing is going to escape from this little thing. And then you can, um, you can just wipe off the excess. Like, oh, sorry, I keep moving it down too far. Um, now you can't even see the glue, but now it's, you know, I feel like it's definitely fortified right there. Okay. I've got one more strip and let's see. And I like doing the hot glue um, in stages because you have a lot of flexibility before everything is in, although it's just foamies. So like, it, it's not that hard to do if you, if you are not doing it right away. So, and I'll show you what I mean by that. So I'll do this one all the way in before I do my gluing. Okay, so I'm gonna cut it right here and then I'm gonna jam it in. So I've got a whole wall of foamies that will now contain my sprinkles. So you can see it's pretty thick. And so I've only glued this one, right? So this one, I'm gonna just, you know, you can see you can bend because it's acetate too. So I can bend it out a little bit, put a little bit of my hot glue right here in between and just a little bit. And then reunite the two, <laughs> let it dry. And then after a couple seconds, you can wipe with your finger the excess and you can't even see it. It looks pretty clean on the edge. Okay. And then I have one more right here, I think, right? I've got two more. So right here, this is, this is pretty stuck. All right. This one I'm going to do. And if it's too tight and you can't do this, what I've also done is I've taken my Barely Art glue and just glued on the, on the edges just to make sure that nothing is coming out. Okay, so today these are my fun sprinkles that I've used. This is from Joann's, no, from Michael's. And I waited for it like 40 or 60% off. I just love the way it sounds. So let me, um, I'll do it on this one. You can really hear it. I mean, I love it. And then it smells good. So I have some excess from the other day. And so it's, um, I mixed a few things. I've mixed this one, which is the, um, this is the sweet, um, Oh, it, there is a title on there. It's so small. I was like, what am I reading here? This is Drama Queen Diva, this purple one. This one is Mermazing, which is totally true. It's got like, um, I can see the seashells in here. Um, I mixed these two colors and then I also mixed in a little bit more of um, some blue. So this is mint and then this one doesn't have anything. I don't see any but I just added a little bit of everything, but I love it. It's so pretty. Okay, so now that this is in there, right? Okay, I'm gonna peel off the top and just be careful when you're peeling it off, like depending on what you have on the inside, like if you have foam balls, I hate those foam balls. I used to love them until like I realized I had other alternatives. Um, they just move, they pop out, they stick to everything. 
Um, that's the other thing that I like about the using actual sprinkles like um, for cakes or cupcakes is that they don't stick to anything. There's no static to them. So I love it. I love it and it smells so yummy. All right, let me pull this off. Okay. And then on this one that I'm bringing in, that my top, I'm just going to pull off that protective sheet really quickly first. Because it looks really dull, in case if you're wondering. Um, so here's, I don't know if you can see. So when I pull it off, it's just, it looks so much better. Okay. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to line this up as best as I can. And then I'm going to press down. I really want to make sure that my foam adhesive is really activated, basically. So I'm going to go and just press all the way around. Great, right. yay. Okay, so now we're gonna put this down and we're gonna put down our gold mylar. So when we do this, even before we glue it down, um, you can kind of see like where did where can we see the where can we see the foam? And well, I will say because this is my third cake topper of this one. <laughs> I've gotten better about where I put my foam and I really can only see the foam over where this set of leaves are. And it's once we put on that turquoise mist, um, it kind of looks like the white. And so you're not going to notice it. So we're going to be able to play with this last one. We can put the eggs probably anywhere that we want to. All right. So on here, what you can do is um, this is mylar going on to acetate so the glue is going to slide a little bit you don't need a lot of glue um, this is light so you can be very like the the actual piece is very light so i would be very light with my glue as well so i'm going to put just enough so that it will stick on but not too much where it's going to spread um and we can clean it up so it's not a big deal but I would rather not have to clean up. Okay, so I'm gonna lift that up. I'm gonna hold it by the two over here. And oops, let me grab this little piece right here. All right, and I'm gonna lay this down. Oh, <laughs> well, I'm gonna be cleaning that up. Um, all that glue just went onto my acetate so much um, for trying to be nice and neat that that's going to happen. All right. So with Barely Art Glue too, I still like to just press down while it's drying and it will stick. It'll be good. So what I will do is, oh, and I have it here already. So um, I don't think I have any Q-tips nearby. So if you have Q-tips, this would be great. I would just take some rubbing alcohol dip it dip my q-tip in here and clean this up clean my acetate if i need to clean my gold mylar if i need to it's a it's best to do it now because we haven't applied any cardstock so I, but even once we put down the cardstock if we had to you could still do clean up but it's easier to not have to worry about the cardstock at this moment because you could be you could be a little bit heavy-handed on the actual rubbing alcohol um okay let me see Hi, Desiree. Okay. Oh, and Donna. Okay. Um, oh, there's like, I looked up and there's a bunch of questions. I, I keep going up. I'm like, oh, wait, there's another question. Okay. Afia, uh, will this be saved on my profile? Yes. This live will be on YouTube and on Facebook. So you can still go back and watch it. The Mylar. I order it from 12 by 12 cardstock shop. Um, I do have a link for it. So if you go, I don't have the link readily available. If you go onto any of my profiles, like Instagram or whatever, there is a link to 12 by 12. Um, I do get a little bit of a kickback. So that would be amazing if you used it. But 12 by 12, what I love about shopping at 12 by 12 cardstock shop is um, it has all the basil colors. 
I know we get a deal at Joann's with Basil and that's amazing, but they don't always have all the colors and it's not always on sale, right? Um, I mean, I usually hold out for the sales, <laughs> but I know like sometimes the colors aren't there and they don't like, you know, it depends on which Joann's you have and, you know, what colors are available. But um, the 12 by 12 has all the colors. So I love going there. And that's where I get my Mylar. My um, I've gotten acetate from there. Um, all the papers are really, really pretty. In fact, the one, the set that I'm going to order on, what's it's today? Today is Thursday. Uh, my order is going out on the 25th. I am ordering their new sequins glitter card stock. It looks, I haven't seen it, but it looks, the pictures look amazing. Um, is this included from the last VIP? Um, the VIP is done on the last one. So if you're talking about XOXO, the Encore, that one's done. Um, this is just a free file. Um, I'm just, you know, going live with you guys for fun. Um, let's see. <laughs> Sarah, they have so much cardstock. I have such a paper obsession. I, I am with you. Um, I agree. So yeah, no, I love it. I, I will show you, I mean, one of these days, you know, I think I'm going to go over there one of these days and do a reel of like the colors. I have one cube of like the specialty paper. Um, all right. So this here, this cut was really like, if I weren't, um, if I wasn't showcasing all the cardstock, I think this layer, I would have done an HTV. I know that the HTV would have cut perfectly and I would have been able to capture all the details. What's funny is this is my third cake topper of this one. And um, this turquoise mist piece, it cut three different, uh, three different ways for me. Um, this one, actually cut all that thin line up here it made it on both ends like it cut beautifully there it's it's so that second like um like almost like an offset that line on both the top and bottom is really really thin and on this one it survived it survived both uh, both ends uh on my other two cake toppers it did not um Oh, that's such a good idea. <laughs> I should do that. Thank you. Yes, I'm gonna put a I'm gonna put my sticker. I do have stickers. Um, so what I wanted to do with this one though is I wanted to show you guys that there are times when this doesn't cut and we can still make it work. So if you look at this cake topper, um I cut off both on the both edges. I just cut trimmed it off. I'm like it it just didn't make it. So I cut it off my, um, the leaves, some of them I had to trim off, but overall, when you look at this, this still looks like a very complete cake topper. Like, I don't feel like if I looked at this, um, even myself looking at it, um, it doesn't feel like, Oh, like she edited that or whatever. Um, so on this one, my leaves did not cut as well, which is so funny. It like cut the more difficult things, but the leaves, it did not. So I'm going to trim it and I'm going to show you like uh, for me and even with my off the mat and all of that, I feel like I would rather trim off than try to keep, keep it on. And it's so distracting that way to me. So, all right, I'm going to cut that off. This one. I'm gonna cut it off right here. And this one. So it's just funny to me that like, you know, with the three different cake, the three cake toppers, the three times that I did it, this turquoise mist turned out three different ways for me. So um, it just, you know, that's just the way it was. I knew it was gonna be difficult, um, but I wanted, to show you that it can be cut um and also what to do like how i deal with it so i have really sharp scissors right now i thought i did but that one didn't cut that well okay so i trimmed it and now it looks it looks perfect. <laughs> it's still got all the details. It doesn't have 100% of the details, but it is still like, I love it. And I use my off brand, um, Cricut blades on Amazon all the time. All right. Let me see. Um, yeah. So Desiree, I mean, in case anyone missed it, do I still even have any left? 
What did I do with my excess mylar? Oh, here, I do have it on this egg. It's just really thick. It does, you know, it does feel a little bit like acetate. I almost want to say it's even thicker than acetate. So you can hear it, but it's still got all the pretty shine to it. So this can really handle intricate cuts. It doesn't like, you can't rip it. I mean, you could rip it, but it's just, it's so flexible and sturdy that I love it. Okay. Let's put this little guy on, on this one. Same thing. Um, this side is cardstock, obviously, but the other side, what it's going on is the gold mylar. So it's not, the glue is going to run. So you don't want a lot of glue on here. I mean, you want it to stick, obviously, but we don't want to be super heavy with the glue because it's going to run. Um, we can still clean it up though. So don't worry about that. And any parts where you, you know, you can see already before you put it over that there's too much glue. I would take my scratch paper and just dab it. Um, I'd rather have the excess off than to try to clean up. I'd, I'd like to clean up as little as possible. Yay. Isn't it pretty? It's so delicate, right? I love it. Oops, let me get rid of that. Okay, so now that we have this on, you guys have a lot of options. You can determine where you want to put the Happy Easter. Um, you can put it more on like right center. You can move this a little bit more like this. This can be, well... I mean, I guess it could even be this way. I mean, it feels a little upside down, but that's only because I know which way it's supposed to be. I feel like it's... Um, okay, so here's my first one. My second one I gave away. So I'm going to do it the opposite. I'm going to do it like this. Kind of like that. I like the way this looks. So... You can put this wherever you want to. What I would do next is I would take out my acrylic stick and put it down so you can kind of see if it bothers you or not. Because <laughs> we have a lot of open space. So um, let me grab my acrylic stick. Okay. Let's see. Oh yeah, Afia. Oh my gosh, you guys are writing in comments and I'm not even noticing it. Yeah, um, I I am specifically, okay, so when I'm doing these monthly projects, um, and this is only my first one, I already posted my second one. So you can you can follow me in design space so that you can see when those projects come in, I think. Um, but of course, I'll let you know if you follow me anywhere else. Um, but specifically with these projects, because I'm labeling, uh, listing out all the card stocks that I'm using, I'm trying to really be deliberate in which colors that I'm choosing so that you get a feel for it. Like I wanted to show you that blue on blue on this one, um, just that, you know, you don't always have to have such a contrast. Um, I wanted to show the gold mylar. And so, um, yeah, you can always substitute it out Gold foil is another one. This next project, I think I chose gold linen and you're gonna love it. Um, it is a gorgeous, gorgeous cardstock. Okay, so on this one, when you put down your acetate or your um, acrylic stick, it is visible. So if that drives you insane, <laughs> then Lower your happy Easter, knowing that your sprinkles are going to land right here. And then you can put your egg. Maybe you can separate your egg and just do two on one side. And oops, I didn't even get to the other one. I'm curious, how did your eggs cut? Did, did your whole project cut out the way that the way that I have it here? Because I didn't have any issues with my cutting other than with that turquoise mist. And I showed you what that looked like. So 
with this one um it's cardstock on cardstock so you don't need a lot of glue you want to just dab on and with this one what i like to do is well i'm gonna move this around i feel like my space is so small right now okay um i'm just gonna put down the glue and then i'm gonna take my scratch paper and i'm gonna definitely dab it off and i cannot wait to put my sticker on here <laughs> That is such a good idea. Okay, so here I'm gonna put this down. So with Barely Art Glue, I love that it dries flat. And this is like, you don't see any glue coming out. We didn't have any excess. And it's just a really pretty egg. It's just the perfect egg. <laughs> Let's see. I think you can get different thickness. I've actually gotten a clear 12 by 12 stencil sheet that has nice thickness. Um, oh, Desiree. Yeah. Acetate comes in different, um, different thickness. Yeah. Um, this one is Amazon, the one that I have. So it's on my shop. Um, if you want to look at that, I like it. It's thick. It feels good. It feels sturdy. So with this one, depending on how you like, you know, depending on where you want to put your stuff, you can have it like the two eggs here and an, and an egg over here. However you want it. Um, if you do it like this three in a row, what I did was this middle one has um, the fourth of an inch uh, foamy. And then these two are just an eighth of an inch. So that way, this one does stay up higher. And then these two go below, but still higher, like off of the actual cake topper. And then um, the Happy Easter has a quarter of an inch uh, cubies underneath. So that it really stands out. And then that is it. So I'm going to leave this here. You guys do however you want to do. I used uh, my hot glue gun on my acrylic stick. So um, I'm going to do, I'm going to do it right here. Okay. So I'm going to put, because it's acetate, I'm going to put my glue straight onto my stick and um, let it cool for just a split second. And then I'm going to put this on. Okay. Then I'm going to do this. Now, normally I would press down pretty hard, right? But because this is acetate foam, um, I'm actually going to just to make sure that all this is sticking and because I'm not able to put a lot of pressure on, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put glue down on some of my cubies so that I know my cubies are not going anywhere or my foamies. And then I'm gonna put some glue on some of this too, on just some of the dots after I peel it off. And normally I would say with Barely Art, I don't need to, but because I'm putting it onto my shaker, onto an acetate layer, I'm not able to push down. Hi, Claudia. Noemi, um, you don't have to buy this file. This file is free in Design Space. So when you go into the homepage and you can uh, go to the search bar, type in AmFam or the Useless Crafter and, um, if you scroll down, there's a section where it shows like people instead of just files. And so you can find me and then I have two free files. The second file I'm gonna be doing next month and it's the Wild One Cake Topper, which it's one of my favorites, I love it. So, okay, on this one, I'm gonna put just glue on two of them. And I just want it to cool a little bit and then I'm gonna put it down. Okay, and then you can put down your egg or your eggs, wherever you want to put it. Um, I already put one, let me see. And then 
Oh, that one I already took off. <laughs> okay. Same thing with this because I'm not pressing down really hard on it. I am going to put glue on just one of them. And then maybe something like this. All right, let me cut out. Okay, on this blue one, I'm gonna put a pretty thick one. It's the quarter of an inch. And, oh, yay, Gladys, I'm glad. Yeah, you can um, you can do whatever you want with my file. You can make it exactly like this. You can decide to change it up and sell it. Um, these files are just for you guys to do whatever you want. Mm, yeah, I think I'm going to put the egg on this side. Actually, I'm, I wonder if I have, well, I do have more eggs, but um, let me see. Yeah, I'm going to do it on this side. Um, give me one second and we're almost done. And then I want to show you my hot air balloon. And I want to go over it in detail because I'm in love with it. Uh, so give me a second. Yay. All right. So let me move this aside. These are my two. So similar, but not similar. <laughs> oh, Sarah, I'm so glad you said that. I can't wait. Okay, so let me, um, all right, let me move this out of the way and I'm gonna show you, I am so excited. And then the other thing is, okay, so some of you guys uh, may not know this, but I am super new to die cutting and like even more new to embossing. So I did not buy, I did not have any embossing folders before. I kind of felt like, oh, you know, with my, um, uh, what do you call it? Not smooth. What do you call it when the, <laughs> when the cardstock textured? Oh my gosh, I'm losing my head. Um, I thought with, you know, textured cardstock and layering the different cardstocks and the different types of cardstock that that would be enough. And then I decided to, you know, to go and embrace my die cutting machine and use the embossing folders. And I am in love. So let me move this out of the way. And I'm going to let, I'm going to zoom in. I don't know how I'm going to zoom in, but I'm going to do it. Um, okay. So this little sign and let me, I wonder if I should just switch. Let me see. I wonder if I switch out. Hold on. Let me remove. Okay. I'm wondering. Um, all right. Can you guys still hear me? Oh, Donna, do you not have Cricut access? Because all the files, all the images that I used are... Um, well, they come, they're included with the access membership. Okay. So, uh, do you love the colors or what? Okay. So let me talk about the colors because this is why I get so excited about, um, working with 12 by 12 cardstock. Um, is that, okay, so let's look at the silver. Okay. So this silver on top right here, it is, um, the rainbow foil. So, and you can see why it's called rainbow foil. When it catches the light, it really gives off colors of the rainbow and it is just so pretty. Um, this is, I think 20 inches wide. So you can see it's, I mean, those, my hands are underneath. It's on a foam board. So it's, it's not off the mat, but not, not my usual character off the mat. Um, okay. So let me show you the other thing. So, okay, so the silver, right? We've got the, the foil that I love, the rainbow foil. And look at that. It's just so gorgeous. I love it. Um, this, okay, this, um, the silver glitter behind it, um, it is no longer available. 
so I recommended to get a cardstock that I haven't used yet, but it's coming to me. I will know beforehand, but I have a good feeling that it is going to do the job. Then behind Riley, this right here is silver mylar. So I wanted you be, to be able to see on one project how the three look very different from the glitter, the rainbow foil to the silver mylar. So, I mean, I just absolutely love it. Then Kristen, um, all this stuff is from 12 by 12 cardstock shop. And um, if you give me a second, you know what? Hold on, let me, let me get you that link because Give me, give me like two seconds to track it down. <laughs> Let's see if I can get to it quickly. All right. Um, I, and then right now, can you see it? So I'm using, I use the embossing folders to get the details because if you look at this color palette, it is super, oh, I can't get to it. Oh, wait, hold on. Blah. Okay, forget it. I can't get to it. Um, I will post it in the description. If you give me like minutes after this live is over, I'll post it in the in the actual description. But okay, so like this color palette is super, I feel like it's super simple, right? It's just basically blues, whites, uh, and pinks. And so what I did to make it stand out is, I think you can see, oh yeah. So I used an embossing folder for this pink. And so it's sort of like, you, it doesn't catch your eye right away, but there are details, um, but everything just feels very still like modern and simple. I don't know, I love it. And then um, this blue is actually Swiss dots, but I thought it would be funny to take another blue and add dots to it. So it's like two sets of dots, but one is from an embossing folder and one is Swiss dots from the actual paper. And then this is a like, it's a white shimmer paper, but I felt like it just made a difference on here. Like it's still within that, you know, the same color family, but different. And then this also has an embossing folder. So it's like very faint. Um, it's just a few stars here and there. And then I love just comparing the two pinks. These are like very pale pinks. It's too, too pink. And I can't remember. I think it's petal soft maybe. Um, and so I love... <laughs> I just love it. And then this blue right here, I don't think I've used this blue before. And it's just like a deeper blue. It's just so beautiful against the white. And then this white also has the embossing folder. So, um, and then I use Swiss dots. So this is salt for the clouds. And so together it's like, it looks like it's just a few different things, but I don't know. I'm like totally in love with it. It's got a bazillion layers though. So check this out. And so it just does not like when you look at this, it does not look like a cardstock project. Like in person, it looks like, I don't know. It looks like something you buy. <laughs> so I just, I love it so much. So anyway, this is, this is my project for happily ever after. I hope that you guys like it as well, but, um, I have the file ready to cut in design space, but I also walk you to uh, walk you through it. So if you wanted to learn how I, what I was thinking, how I did it, this is, this is one of those things where it's like, um, it's a super simple project, right? Because like I said, the colors are simple. It's just blue, pink, and white, and silver. Um, the actual elements on here is just clouds, one hot air balloon that I, we, we change up the sizing, and two fonts. That's, that's it, and an offset. So it is really, you can design this. You can recreate this. If you're a silhouette girl, you can watch the design space tutorial and you should be able to recreate this in silhouette because I'm really only taking four items, hot air balloon, two fonts and clouds and creating offsets and changing the sizing of it to make it, to make it this whole thing. 
So anyway, I hope you guys join me with, uh, you know, for happily ever after. And I hope you like the cake topper today. And if you like this whole idea, um, one of the other things that I'm implementing, um, is my newsletter. I've always had a newsletter, but I really didn't use it. And so, um, um, <laughs> I, um, every, every weekend I'm sitting down and writing out like a recap of the projects. And I feel like it's different because I can't convey all my thoughts like for the project. Um, on TikTok, like through hashtags. So um, with the newsletter, I'm able to recap it and kind of tell you like, this is also what else you can do with it. Or, you know, just other tips and stuff like that, that I can't, you know, fit in that little description box. Um, so it's a recap of projects that posted. And then it's a, um, a heads up for, you know, different things that are coming up. So like for this week, um, this coming week, I will be going live with Dini from Dini Weenie Blooms. Uh, we are making, she's, uh, we're making this like flower headpiece thing. So I'm super excited about that. And then I'm also going live with Creations by Myra. Both both ladies will be joining us, um, you know, on the XOXO craft along for the first time. So I'm super excited about that. Uh, so that's happening this week. So things like that will be in the newsletter. And then just, you know, if there's any like anything funny, there's like a little personal area. So, oh, Shania, I'm so glad that you love it. Um, yeah. And I, you know, after I wrote it, I was like, oh, I feel good. Like, I feel like I'm connecting with everybody. <laughs> so hopefully you guys enjoy it. And um, yeah, like I'm just trying to. You know, like I, you know, I had a lot of growth and everything. And I feel like um, with some of these craft alongs and with the workshops that I I'm trying to connect better. So like I grew, which is, you know, the purpose, like I, I want to grow my accounts and I want to do more things, you know, being a crafting influencer. But um, I think I'm missing like this little piece here so that's i'm trying to connect i'm trying to connect by once a month doing a free design space file at least one and then uh with the newsletter oh krisa oh my gosh elementary classmate that's amazing <laughs> well come join us it's going to be wednesday i think wednesday noon pacific we're going to be doing it and then wednesday at 4 p.m. Pacific, I'm going live with Myra. And I think both we're going to do it on Instagram. So, um, so yeah. All right. Well, I hope you guys like the changes that I'm making. I feel like I, I want to do, I want to change things up a little bit. So that's what's going on. And um, yeah, thank you for joining and crafting with me tonight. It was a lot of fun. And tag me when you make it or when you're done. And I will see you guys another time. <laughs> Bye.